What a way to kick off 2023. My words, these guys ran around, but I am breathless after commentating on that for 90 minutes. Merston three, Wharton and Hersham three. I've been joined by the man that ensured Merston left with a share of the spoils, Jordan Wilson. Uh, Jordan, how are you feeling after that one firstly? Because it was end to end breathless stuff. Yeah. Knackered, to be honest. Um, it's a good shift for the boys. Obviously, they, they, the other team were, were, were good, moved the ball well. Um, the rotation in field was fantastic from them, to be fair. And we just had to get tight to them, to be honest. And, and we did that. Um, you know, we went 2-0 down in the first half and it was, it was gut-wrenching to, to see the game disappearing from us. Um, but we dug deep, got a goal back, come out the second half and, and, and took it to them, to be honest. Um, so... With that, you know, obviously happy to get the winner, happy to get the, the point out of it. Um, and we could have gone on to win it, to be honest. Um, yeah, it was just it was just a, a massive effort from the boys, which which got us over the line, to be honest. Put it into context how important um, Aziz's goal was. It was literally the last kick of the first half. Yeah, um, I mean, like I said, it's always hard when you go 2-0 down. You're sort of, it's that gut-wrenching gut feeling. Um, and you're just looking for something. You just need something to get you back in the game. And, and to, for him to do that, just before half time was was fantastic. Um, we went in and felt like when we come out in the second half that the game was still there to, to be had um, and, and won. Um, so yeah, but but no, it was it was hard. It was hard. Yeah. So well, I mean, 26 points separated the sides uh, before kickoff. So obviously, on paper, the the, the amount of the of the task was there. What what did the the gaffer and, and the management team say to you boys at half time? Because when you came out in the second half, to a man, you were all forward. You were all pressing, and the second goal came so quick. Yeah, I think with with the the rotation or the movement that they had in the uh, midfield, we we were just leaving one man spare. So although we we set out to be man for man in midfield, it didn't quite happen in the first half. Um, so we went in half time. That was the information that was given. Um, we come out, executed it, and to be fair, it, it worked. It showed. Everyone was at it, and I think just getting tight to people and making that tackle, it then gets everyone else up for it and, and makes them want to make that tackle and, and work that little bit harder. So all over the pitch that was happening, and, and, and it was just, it was good to be amongst it. Yeah, definitely. Well, talk, talk us through your goal. Um, it looked like it was a high ball from Roman on the right and it just dropped into a melee of players and you were there. Yeah, I, I, I was on the edge of the box. Um, ball came in and it was a knockdown and, and it just happened to fall to me and I couldn't do nothing but put it away, to be honest. Um, over the moon because my boy's here, my, my little boy's here watching and uh, he said to me this morning, Dad, you ain't scored all season. <laughs> <laughs> he knows that, doesn't he? he knows. Yeah, he knows, he knows. He's, He's um, we're in competition and he's scored a load of goals and I've ain't, I ain't scored all season. So, yeah, I'm going to rub that one in his face. Hey, well, I hope we, let's catch him up, eh? Let's catch him up. That'd be good. Yeah. Um, what does it show to the resilience of this side, though, to go 2-0 down, um, you know, midway through the first half and then to go 3-2 down after we'd already pulled it back? Shows the spirit in the side, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I when I joined, it was a, a month or so into the season. Um, and I don't, although there was, we were quite young um, and... We were just saying results like that, we would have gone 2-0 down and we would end up losing 5-0. Um, and with a few changes that have happened over the, the last few months, I think you can see in the performances that we've been there or thereabouts and there's just been maybe that little something missing, which is probably the togetherness, to be honest. It's a new team um, and we've been saying it in the changing room that leading up to the new year, that we're, our performances are getting better. And it was, it's, it's our time now, we feel, as a, as a group of players, that we can... We can make a right go of it and, and get points on the board um, and get ourselves out of the rut that, that we've been in. Excellent. Yeah, no, that's great. Just one final question. You are one of the older heads in the, in the dressing room. Have you ever known a goalkeeper on the losing side at the time, 25 minutes before the end of the game, to get booked for time-wasting? No, I, I didn't understand that one at all. It's never happened to... It never, never been in the team where that's happened. Yeah I, yeah, I don't know what was going on there, but yeah, it, it was ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> the referee had a fun afternoon himself, but we won't go into that for fear of any fines, etc. So, but Jordan, well done today, mate. Thank you very and much. Best of luck for next Thank week. You. Happy New Year, fellas. Thank you.